everyone, it's Jen. I have a couple of projects for a swap I want to share with you. This is for Cynthia's swap, the Scrappy Bookworm one. She is doing uh, altered cork and altered bag swap, and my partner is Christy, who is twins for me too. And we've gotten to know each other a little bit. She's super sweet. So I am, I'm going to talk kind of quickly. For a couple of reasons, <laughs> the post office is closing soon and I really want to try and get these shipped off to her today. Um, and I don't want the video to be too, too long. But I've never made altered corks or an altered bag before, so they took me a little bit while. The, the corks actually went quickly. I was surprised at how quickly the corks went. The bag took me forever and a day and I think it's because I'm new to doing it and figuring out how to adhere things and such but so let me go through the items with you. So hi Cynthia, hi Christy. Cynthia thank you for um, hosting the swap and uh, Christy and I are on opposite sides of the country but like I said we've gotten to know each other a little bit and she is just super sweet so the, let me start with the bag. The bag I purchased, it's a canvas bag, it was a canvas drawstring bag that I purchased on clearance at Bath and Body Works. It was like $1.50 and it had some printing on it and some blue cord, so I took that off. I used a French coin stamp set that I had and used uh, stone gray stays on ink and just stamped all in all the parts that were going to be exposed. And then I just use some paper and trims to do, a, you know, covering. I use some pearl bling here. I made a little pocket out of the trims and actually put some pearl bling underneath there. And made this little card with her sentiment on it and some more trim. This is a Prima Tile. And even when I use like the Prima tiles, I inked around the edges and put a little glitter around the edges. This is a flower that I made with some some uh, notebook leaves. And these are Wild Orchid craft flowers that I covered with paint and gesso and super gloss and glitter and a little key. And I adhered everything down with hot glue, like the trims, the paper, and so like when I did the paper I would put a couple strips across the bottom and on the side and adhere that down and then um, just kept putting strips of hot glue. That was one of the things that took me a little while to figure out was I wasn't exactly sure how I was going to do all that, but I think it came out pretty well. Everything seems to be pretty stable and, and stuck tightly to the bag. And this is a Tim Holtz metal label and I had used, let's see if I can get a close up. I actually used my, you know, these are just some word stickers I had and I used my Copic, some three different colors of very pale um, pink, peachy color. And I'm not sure if it's picking it up, but just did some highlighting around there and added some gesso and some ink around the words and little pearls there. And then I actually put a magnet under here and one um, underneath the top flat here, flat, but it's, um, it holds it really well. I mean, it's not super, super strong, but it's definitely holding the flap down. And then on the back side, this is the new uh, greeting farm stamp, the little girl. So I stamped her on there with some enamel embossing powder and put some raised chipboard words on there and use my Sherry Lynn's English Tea doily die to cut to cut out those doilies. So I love it. I hope she likes it. Um, and then I'm going to fill it and show you guys what I'm filling it with. We're supposed to put um, four goodies in the bag and I try to when I'm in a swap um, to make some of the goodies that I'm putting in the bag. So these are all wood pieces that I covered with some clip art. Sorry, you can't see them all. There's a little fairy and a little bird's nest under there, but those two. And then these were some wooden tags that I covered and just added some seam binding and some little baubles. 
So we're going to go ahead and fill this up. I checked last night to make sure it all fit in there. And then I just made a card of some little buttons that she could use in her projects. And I actually covered the back of it with lace. So this was, like I said, this was just a really fun swap. And then I made her this flower and I just recently purchased some doilies from the paper bag lady and I was looking for her. I was having a hard time finding her she's on Zibit I was looking for her on Etsy but her doilies I think she has a shop in both but her doilies are on Zibit and they are very reasonably priced um, I will definitely be ordering from her again that in there and then just used my Tim Holtz die I made her this little envelope that I put some trim in sorry I have gesso and stuff all over me. I'm trying to, like I said, get to the post office before they close. So I had some coordinating trim. I was um, using creams and whites and lavenders. I know she said she likes um, softer tones. And I had this little covered clothespin and some raw silk trim and some lace. that in there and then it still it still stays closed nice so I hope you guys like it I hope she likes it okay moving on to the corks I just made this box quick this morning um, another one of the doilies and a rosette flower I covered a wood banner that I had and just made a little bottle cap a couple cutouts tied some little trim around there and like I said the bottle caps went so much quicker than I thought they were going to let me go through them real quick this one for the actual cork I had put some gesso and glue and mixed it together and rolled the cork in it and then rolled it in some glitter and added a couple layers of trim and a bunch of trim at the top and I used on either side a large eyelet just push that into the cork and then also this is the um, I don't know what these are called but they're the Tim Holtz uh, little rings and then it has like a long pin on it and then just added a bunch of charms on the bottom I have a cherub and one of the little pearl and rhinestone charms and then this one as well and it has um, it has like a little button on the back so I just tied some seam binding on there and then put some of the ball and chain on the top so that's the first one And then the second one, I covered the cork in lavender paint and then some brown stays on ink on top of that and then wound some purple wire around there and did a couple corkscrews in the wire. And for this one, I had these charms and I just cut off the loop part of the charm and filed it down with a little metal file and they were the perfect size and they had a square hole in the middle so that worked perfect to put the pins in and then these flowers I purchased at AC Moore in the wedding section it came in a bunch of eight and I, I purchased some white ones as well as these pinkish ones and then I altered them with super gloss and gesso and glitter and I really like the way those came out and then I made this charm to coordinate. It's a little cherub. And then just some more pearls uh, charms and a locket. And I believe this is an industrial chic piece um, that I just linked together. And then used one of the Tim Holtz little toggle clasps on top. And if she wants to take the seam binding and the spray off and just use it like that she can but the the class was kind of small so I also put this loop on here with the um, pink pearl spray 
so she can use it in whichever way that she likes. So those are my corks. And, oh, I have one other thing I'm sending her. This it was not going to fit in the bag, but I um, purchased her and I both one of these at a local boutique. It is, they're just um, large matches. And Christy has a video out there for a tiny altered matchbox that she made that is so gorgeous. So I figured she can use these and then maybe someday if she wants to alter the box. She can do that, um, but I am going to be off to the post office here shortly to get these in the mail to her. We were both, we both had like super busy end of school years and we knew we weren't going to be able to ship to the end of the swap, but I do want to get these out to her today. So thanks for watching everybody. If you have any questions, let me know and have a great week. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.